midst of a, of a serious anxiety disorder, the other partner often becomes the sole source of safe safety, support, reassurance, reassurance. That's exactly right. I can only get in the car with my husband or my wife. That person takes on such a role and is often, I'm not going to say required to understand, mm -hmm. but becomes kind of the caretaker in a way. It really can shatter that other aspect, that romantic aspect of the relationship. It puts a stress on the whole relationship. It, so, and, and here's an, and, yeah, and here's an interesting tidbit that when we experience ourselves as a caregiver or a nurturer in a chronic kind of way, our own sexual desire is likely to fall away, as is the passion that we experience towards our partner. So it's not a really great thing to get in too tightly of a dependent situation when you're feeling so needed. Yes. Right? Um, because Which happens. Also, yes. And, and it feels like they are the safety and they are the reassurance. I was talking to a gal this week and this is happening with her, with her boyfriend. Right. He's like, wants to go away for the day. And she's just like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, wait a minute, you can survive a day. You were doing that before him. <laughs> yes. But, but he's such a soothe and she's had a longstanding anxiety disorder. And he his, comes in as reassurance. I go, you, your strength is going to come not from that. It's going to come from those times when you did it by yourself, however yes. little it was. And then you go, yes, I can by me. I didn't have to rely on someone else because you don't have full confidence when you're relying on somebody else that you accomplished it. Yeah, that's exactly right. We, we say all the time, like, there is no such thing as a safe person. You're your own safe person. Yes. And we try and get people to so understand that. And yeah. I saw Instagram post, you can be safe and anxious at the same time. Absolutely, you can. It yeah. doesn't feel good, but you're still safe. Yeah, and that's a core thing that that keeps people stuck so often to that 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 connection between being uncomfortable and being unsafe. They can't break that. You have to break yeah. that that link. Um, but yeah, that thing where just the relationship on a whole begins to suffer. My yeah. husband is telling me to, to just pull myself together. He's tired of this. It's been going on too long. He doesn't understand, or she, the other way. Um, yeah. And it really like kind of puts a sledgehammer through the through the relationship. So sex is naturally going to suffer, I would think. Yes. Because, so as the relationship is suffering and, you know, in and out of the, the out of the bedroom, that connection, that relationship, yeah. and that context is so critical to great intimacy. I often say, and, and sometimes I catch some heat from this and you mentioned, you know, that little bit of in your face, irreverent thing that I got going on. Like when you take care of that, it's difficult. So you have a person suffering from an anxiety disorder instead of having requiring that their partner be the safe person. Like mm -hmm. you must understand, you must understand how hard this is. You must understand why I can't go to dinner or the movies or to family dinners or on mm -hmm. vacation, understand why, how hard this is. I often say hey, they don't have to understand. They actually understand yeah. that you're safe. So use them as a role model. So it's that thing again, that if you take care of that thing, that problem, yeah. so many other yeah. things begin to fall into place. I would think, I would well, think. I think, I think what, what, when we're anxious, what we're looking for, is some kind of joining or some kind of empathy, mm. but not somebody to then rescue us because it's rescue us because it's the rescuing that is doing a disservice. Yeah. But someone to have empathy for you, but then believe in you right. to be able to rise up. Yes. And 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 believes in your strength and doesn't infantilize you and believe that you're incapable or incompetent or can't get through this. That mm. is not a message that serves the anxious person. No. Now, no. It, Feel, it can feel cruel to, to hear somebody going, you know what? I can't do that. I can't be that one for you all of the time. They can be like, whoa, but they can have empathy for the plight, but then believe in the strength of the person with the anxiety. Well, because I think both people have a role, right? So the, the yes. person, the, the non 